Exercise 1 related to topic distance, displacement, speed, velocity and acceleration. As we already discussed uh, these MCQs, but quickly I will go through. Uh, what is the average acceleration? So acceleration is the change in velocity from 2 seconds to 3 seconds. So the formula to calculate the acceleration is the change in the velocity or I can write V minus U over divided by T. So 2 seconds the speed is 4.1 and 3 seconds the speed, the final speed is 5.7. So the difference in the speed 5.7 minus 4.1 divided by time interval so from 1 to 3 seconds the time interval is 1 so it is equals to 1.6 meter per second square so A will be the right answer for this question then question 2 a student used to determine this average speed average speed the total distance over total time so the distance traveled by the bubble from 25 point so this is uh, 25.5 6 and 7 so this is 25.7 and here is 18.1 2 and 3 so 18.3 so when we take a difference the distance travel will be 7.4 centimeter and the time it took 2 seconds so we need a speed or average speed that is the total distance divided by time. So distance is 7.4 divided by time is equals to 2. So 7.4 divided by 2. Uh, so 25.7 minus 18.3 which is divided by 2 so that's equal to 3.7 so B will be the right answer because this is 3.7 meter per second not 3.2 7.4 divided by 2 is 3.7 then which distance time graph represent is speed is decreasing Basically, for distance time graph, the slope is representing speed. So, which one? The speed is decreasing here. The speed is constant. When it's a straight line for distance time graph, here the speed is decreasing because the slope or the angle is representing the speed for a distance time graph. So, when we check this angle, in the beginning it is steeper but here the angle is decreasing so slope is decreasing so C will be the right answer for this. There is no question like this. Which exercise? Uh, I think I give you this exercise only. This was the exercise I gave as a weekly homework. An object moves at a constant speed, then begins to accelerate. Which graph for a distance time graph shows a motion? So first it is moving at a constant speed. This. So when we check the, con because the constant speed should be a straight line. When we check option A, option A, the object is first at rest. And then this part, it is constant speed. For B, first it is constant speed. then it is at rest. For C, it is constant speed first. And then this part, it is accelerating. 
So we have to select a graph in which the object is first moving at a constant speed and then accelerating. That is why C is the right answer. What about D? D as it is continuously increasing, it means this is accelerating. So this object continue to accelerate. So C is the right answer. Uh, which is unit of acceleration? So unit of acceleration, it is meter per second squared. So C is the right answer for this. Question six, the graph shows how the distance traveled by the vehicle changes with time. So distance time graph from P to Q because it is a straight line. So whenever it's a straight line, it means it is for a distance time graph, it is a constant speed. When it is a horizontal line means object is stopped at rest or zero speed because when object stop, the speed is zero. And again, it's a straight line with a constant slope. So again, it is a constant speed. So which option is correct? From P to Q, it's a constant speed. Then Q to R, it is zero. And from R to S, again, it is constant. So A is the right answer. In question seven, a runners run 300 meters at an average speed of three meter per second. She runs another 300 meter at an average speed of six meter per second. What is her average speed for total distance? So average speed for total distance, for total distance, it's total distance divided by total time. So the total distance which is covered by the athlete that is equals to 600 meters. What about the total time? So first we'll find the time to run first 300 meter. So how much time it will take? We know time is equals to distance divided by speed. So to run first 300 meter with a speed of three, so it will be 300 divided by three. So it will take 100 seconds. So first 300 meter athlete run with 100. Uh, complete in 100 seconds. What about the next 300 meters? So another 300 meter, she run with an average speed of six. So distance divided by speed will give us the time. So 300 meters she cover, she run with a speed of six. So that is equals to 50 seconds. So total time to complete this journey because first 300 meters She took 100 seconds, the remaining 300 meter, she took 50 seconds. So total time to complete the journey, that is equals to 150 seconds. And 600 divided by 150, that's equal to 4 meter per second. That's why B is the right answer for this. Question 8, a runner runs 400 meter with an average speed of four meter per second. She runs 200 meter in 40 seconds. How long it will take to run remaining 200 meter? So there's a race and that's the total distance covered by the runner. That's 400 meter and with a speed of four meter per second. So what is the total time the runner will take to complete this race? So time is equals to distance divided by speed. So distance is 400 and the speed is four. So total time to complete this race is 100 seconds. And the first 200 meters, the runner took 40 seconds. So for first 200 meters, the runner took 40 seconds. How much time the runner will take to complete the remaining 200 meter? Because the total time to complete the race is 100 seconds. And first 200 meters in 40 seconds, so remaining is only 60 seconds. That is why A is the right answer for this. Question nine, a car travel along a route PQ RST in 30 minutes. What is the average speed? So average speed is a total distance over total time. So total distance, 
10 plus 5 15 plus 10 25 plus 5 30 so total distance is 30 kilometer all the options are in kilometer per hour so means we have to convert time into hour so 30 minutes we have to convert into hour so we'll divide by 60 so that is equals to 0 0.5 hour so 30 divided by 0 0.5 that is equals to 60 kilometer per hour so it will be d A car travel 100 uh, kilometers and take two hours to complete the journey. So two hours is the duration and 100 kilometers is the total distance. What is the average speed? So average speed is the total distance divided by total time. So total distance is 100 and total time is two hours. So 100 divided by two, that's equal to 50 kilometers per hour so these are the mcqs any question till now then i'll discuss the structure questions the structure question one a bus travel at a constant speed it stop for a short time and then travel with a higher constant speed using the axis draw a graph so we just have to sketch a graph when it when object move with a constant speed so we'll draw a straight line with a constant slope then it stop so when it stop the distance there should be a horizontal line for a distance time graph and it stop for a short time so short time means i i should not extend this line it should be a very small and then it travel at a higher constant speed so how i can show a higher constant speed i will draw a straight line but with a greater gradient or a slope so this is a constant speed this one when object is at rest or stops or speed is zero and this one is also a constant speed but what is the difference between the two constant speeds? This is a lower constant speed, a smaller value, and this is a higher constant speed. Is it clear, question one, how we complete the graph for uh, distance time to show the motion of this object? Is it clear to everyone? Then question two, over a length of 100 meter section, the time recorded is 1.85 second. Calculate the skier average speed over the section. So average speed, is equals to total distance divided by total time. So the average speed total distance that is equals to 100 and total time is 1.85 second. So 100 divided by 1.85 that is equals to 54.0 or 5 or 54 meter per second. What is meant by the term deceleration? The term deceleration means decrease in speed or object slow down so when the object slow down or there's a decrease in the speed we call that as a deceleration in question 4 the speed of a truck increases from rest to 12 meter per second in 30 second calculate the distance traveled by this truck during this time so how to calculate distance travel when the speed is changing? We know average speed
is equals to distance divided by time so we need distance so distance will be so if you want to calculate distance so distance will be average speed multiplied by time the average speed what will be the average speed here as you can see in the question they mentioned the speed of the truck increases from rest to 12, 12 meter per second like initially it is 0 then it become 12 so what is the average speed the speed is not same they did not say the truck was moving with 12 meter per second they said that speed of the truck is changing from 0 to 12 so when the speed is changing we use average speed how i can take average of these two numbers so in mathematics you need to take an average you add them and divided by the total number so that will give you the average speed so average speed when i take average of the two speeds i have one of the speed is 12 another speed is 0 so when i take average of these two speed the average of these two speed will come out as 6 meter per second why i did not substitute 12 directly because they did not mention that the object or a truck was moving with 12 meter per second they mentioned that object was initially at rest and from rest it increases the speed to 12 meter per second that's why when the speed is changing we take the two values of the speed and calculate an average so the average speed is 6 multiplied by the time that is equals to 30 so 6 multiplied by 3 that is equals to 18 and then 0 is there so the total distance travel will be 180 meters is it clear this question so whenever a question in a question there are two speeds given to you so you have to calculate an average speed is it clear so sometimes student normally what is a common mistake student used to make they write distance is speed multiplied by time and they only see one of the speed they say 12 multiplied by 30 so it will be 360 meter but that is not the right answer why it is not the right answer because in the question the speed is changing from 0 to 12 if the same question was there that the speed of a truck if they mention that the speed of the truck is 12 meter per second for 30 seconds then I can directly use a formula distance is speed multiplied by time. I don't have to calculate an average because the speed is not changing. But if there's a change in speed, I have to substitute an average speed. In question five, a boat is moving at a constant speed on a figure, sketch a distance time graph for the boat. So whenever object is moving with a constant speed, it will be a straight line, which is passing through origin. That shows that this board is moving at a constant speed. So this was exercise related to distance, displacement, speed, velocity and acceleration. Any question related to the class? So I'll end the session, share this recording.